Bobby Chamanur has made some shocking revelations about Big Boss and a man for whom he had contributed blood money in order to save him from death sentence in a Gulf country. I was invited to Big Boss a few years back but the people on social media suggested me and therefore I decided not to go. I have not till now watched Big Boss, he said in a recent interview. Bobby Chamanur also revealed that he helped Abdul Rahim who was imprisoned abroad. I helped him with 1 crore rupees. I had to hit the road to beg for the remaining 33 crores and did not do it merely for the publicity. If it was for publicity alone, I would have given 10 lakhs and stayed inside an AC room instead of begging for crores. The reason behind my sincere interference in this matter was that I had a business partnership in Kuwait 20 years ago. That partner deceived me. He was a fraud. I used to go there only once in 6 months. The partner on the other hand was always there. He was in good terms with all the staff. I caught him red-handed while he was indulged in fraudulent practices and there was a lot of commotion regarding it. He had been there for years and with the influence of the police he fabricated a case against me. I was arrested for one day for a crime that I had in committed. Even though it was for a single day I went through a lot of mental pain. Punishing an innocent person is a painful thing. If I were in jail for 25 years for committing a murder, I wouldn't feel so bad because I have done a crime. Even if 1000 culprits are acquitted, no innocent person should be convicted. The pain is terrible. That is when I thought if Abdul Rahim is innocent and he has been in jail for 18 years not just a day, anticipating death every day, it would be a terrible thing. I decided to save him wholeheartedly. I was in short of rupees 9 crores and there were only 2 days left. If so, I thought I would contribute that 9 crores because Boche never turns back. Bobby also revealed an earlier incident when he saved a Malayali from a Saudi prison. I received a phone call from the Saudi jail. It was some years back. Someone had hit his girlfriend and she died from that attack. His girlfriend was a Filipino and the boy was a Malayali. The news also had appeared in the newspaper. He was sentenced to death by hanging. Two crores were asked then as blood money. I gave them one lakh. This happened 20 to 30 years back. The newspaper covered it well. He was from a different religion and my contribution became a prestige issue for others and many raided fund for him. His father later met me and expressed his gratitude. He said that his son would come directly from the airport to meet him. The politicians had tried to reduce the blood money. He was saved and reached home safely. His father came to me the next day crying and said that he should not have been saved. He is a cheat and when I tried to bring him here from the airport, he went out with his friends and got drunk. For two days, I kept on asking him to come and meet you but he refused to come. He is having fun with his friends. He is an ungrateful son and he might have killed the girl deliberately, that father told me. I told him that I didn't expect anything and I'm glad that I did what I could said Bobby News Desk Kaumadi Global